Hello guys and welcome back to a new episode of Last Than Earth Gameplay Tutorials. Today we will discuss about what happens when you reach level 150 and how you can gather the resources you need to go to DC. Before we actually get there, let's see how the game looks like before reaching level 150. I won't spend too much time with this as you already know all there is to know about it. As you can see, I am level 149. Now let's check how the global map looks like. As you already know, you have your base, the police station, Bunker Alpha, the infected forest and so on. But behind the wall there is this location, called Pump Jack, which is available only during the clan wars. Well, your normal question should be, how can I join a clan, right? You also might have noticed this button, that should allow you to switch between characters. What characters you might ask yourself? Well, let's start with the clans first. Back in the days, in the early versions of the game, you could join a clan in a very simple way. All you had to do is to build a radio tower and that was it. You had access to a list of clans from which you could choose. But this was eliminated from the game and now the things are a little bit more complicated. First of all, you must reach level 150. So let me just do that. Ok, a few more hits to this frenzy giant and I should have enough experience to advance to the next level. Done! Just let me choose one of the skills I want to upgrade and then we will move on to the global map. As you can see a new event popped up, an abandoned convoy. This event is different from the abandoned convoy in which you can get a finger for the secret door in Bunker Alpha. As you can see, it's marked with a blue pin on the map, not green, not yellow, not red. So, let's visit it. Once at the location, you will find a dead guy next to a truck. When you approach him, three armed guys will surround you. Fortunately for you, they just want to talk. You will have to write a letter to your brother or sister. Here is where you pick up the gender of your other character. If you want him to be a guy, choose brother. If you want her to be a girl, choose sister. After that is done, just return to the global map. As you can see, nothing has changed. You have the same locations on the map as before and the locations behind the wall are still not visible. Yet something is very different. If you push the button on the right down side you will see this. Now you will be able to play with the guy or the girls you just wrote a letter to. On the other side of the wall you will have different locations and the base called the city in the crater. I will not talk too much about it, because I want to let you discover these locations on your own. But I will give you one more hint before ending this video. Once in the crater, you will find this guy, who promises to get you to DC if you bring him some items. Be careful, you have a certain amount of time to do that. Now your question might be, where can I find these resources, as I don't have weapons, workbenches, food or medicine? Well, some of the items can be found in your inbox, but the others you will have to gather from the locations around the city. Make sure to visit the location, kill the zombies and open the crates that you find there. To regenerate your health and avoid starving, try and pick up berries and eat them. They will also save you from drinking water. 
Once you gather a few cloth pieces, craft bandages so you can regenerate your health faster. Once you have all the items you need, return to the guy and give them to him. As you can see, he will invite you inside the DC. Here there are new things for you to discover, including the possibility to join a clan, but I will let you do that by yourself. For now, this is it. I will come back with other videos about Last Day on Earth. Until then, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching, see you!